If we think of the LDO or the learning driven organization as a shape, how it looks like, uh, what are the dimensions of the LDO? Uh, I think the best or the easiest way is to think of the learning driven organization as a triangle and this triangle would have of course three legs. These three legs forming are forming the uh, dimensions or the sides of uh, the different types of learning. Uh, the first leg is the individual learning, second is the team learning and third is the organization wide learning and they all of them of course they intersect and they complement each other to form the final shape of the organization. Individuals in any organization uh, could play a major uh, role and strategic role in uh, reinforcing the organizational learning because individuals are the learning agents of the organization. They are the connectors who absorb or acquire uh, the knowledge from all sorts, from different domains, from different areas, and they transform this learning into actions. So they not only informed, but they can transform the knowledge they acquire into actions. They have their experience that they brought with them from their previous organizations. Uh, they could learn, they uh, attend conferences, and they bring best practice to the workplace. Uh, so individuals reflect, they could learn from mentoring, they could be mentors to their colleagues, and also they could do coaching to other colleagues. So there are several ways where individuals can uh, acquire this actionable learning and help organization to improve their uh, performance and achieve their strategic objectives. Team learning or the second uh, leg of the organization triangle is how teams or departments within the organization learn and how they absorb and bring the individual learning of the team members to become uh, an organizational learning. There are several methods for uh, team learning and one of these methods is called the after action review. If we uh, type uh, in Google um, AAR or after action review, we will get tens of thousands of websites talking about this practice called after action review, which is very simple, straightforward, yet a very powerful mechanism for team learning. Uh, after action review is summarized in few questions that teams or departments would ask themselves after achieving a certain uh, um, project or uh, a task. Simply, we sit immediately after the task and ask ourselves what was supposed to be done, what already done, what went right, what went wrong, and what to be done next time. Without blame, without pinpointing people, uh, the point here is to understand where are the gaps and what are the lessons learned and then we take these lessons learned and uh, update our policies probably we devise a new policy or change our uh, uh, procedures and this is heavily used in armies it's heavily used in hospitals where they do road cause, road cause analysis and uh, one of the very effective methods